Okay, so once again, we have a reservoir of water. It's, the water is being drawn from the sink up through the peristaltic pump and into the reservoir. The reservoir is getting close to full. I want to fill it up a bit more, so I'll pinch off the outlet down here. And when I'm happy with the amount of water that's in the reservoir, I need to close the system. So I'll follow this. this it's a bit confusing in the sink because the piping for the uh, flow experiments are already in here. But uh, all we have is one tube going around the loop. So here's the other end, the outlet of the tube. I'll just stop pinching it so it flows. And then under the water, so we don't get too many bubbles, uh, I'm going to close the system. I'll just plug the two ends of the system loop together, and that's it closed. So maybe just dry your hands off and you finish dealing with the water. Okay, next up. Inside the tube, uh, there's a catheter, a Swan Gans catheter. Um, it's a bit hard to see, and we'll need to get quite close. At the very end of the catheter, there's a thermistor, so a, a, a temperature measurement sensor, which gives a voltage. Um, well, it it's actually gives a, a resistance that we measure using a bridge uh, to get a voltage. Uh, further along, further upstream, we'll find a place on the catheter which has three markings and this is where we're going to inject, this is the port for the cold water, so this is the thermodilution method, so we're going to inject cold water to figure out the flow rate. Um, so that's where the cold water is going to be injected in, so let's inject some water in. If we follow the catheter further up, we'll see this is where it comes up, it's taped down here because uh, there's a small kink in it, so I want to keep it straight until we get it replaced. Um, and here's the, the catheter end with the syringe on it, and there's a small uh, dial here. This one here at the end of the syringe, it points in the direction which is which is switched off. So at the moment I've got the catheter end switched off and I've got the end going to a vat of cold water. Uh, it should be ice water, I've just got cold water which is at about 8 degrees or 7 degrees. You should have ice water in there. We're going to draw the water out of this into the syringe and when the syringe is full we're going to inject it in to the catheter. Um, so let's draw the water in. There might be some bubbles the first time we go. Um, actually this is pretty good. Not too many bubbles there. And I've now got a syringe full of water. I'll switch the this uh, stopcock around to block off the cold water, uh, the jar of cold water, and now I'm ready to inject the water into uh, the catheter. So before we do that, this is what's going to happen. The output of the thermistor is going to go through the conditioning box at the back, this little grey box. Um, because it's a resistance, a variable resistor, this turns into a voltage using a bridge. Um, the output of this uh, comes around here to the oscilloscope, so we, we take a tap off and to channel 1 the oscilloscope. At the moment we've got some uh, noise on the signal caused by the fluorescent light, so I'll actually go and turn the lights off and then just come back over. So click. Okay, so now the trace is much cleaner. Um, Continuing on, it's probably a bit dark, it's hard to see now, that's better. Uh, continuing on, we can take a tap further on and we'll put that into the National Instruments card which is around here on the front. So we're going to sample this voltage on channel AI0 again using MATLAB. So in MATLAB, uh, similar to the other experiments, we have a function called BIME 9650 Acquire Thermodilution. And I'm going to acquire for 60 seconds at 500 hertz. So let's press enter on that and hopefully it will start to run. Yep, so it's now acquiring. So we'll rush back over here to the syringe and as fast as you can inject all of the water really, really quickly. And it's quite hard, you've got to press quite hard to get it all in. So it's all in now. What we should see on the oscilloscope is that the voltage will have dropped down and we probably missed it already and it will rise back up to the level that it was at very slowly. Um, the effect will be much more uh, impressive when we've got ice water. So when 60 seconds have elapsed and you have to bear with us, um, what we'll see is a plot on the screen showing the voltage output from the, the bridge um, in MATLAB and from that you'll be able to figure out um, what the flow rate is by integrating your estimate of the concentration. And you'll have to read through the notes to figure out what the equation is for that. Um, so. This is where we need elevator music, so MATLAB is still acquiring. There we go. 
So the plot that we have here, you're getting voltage, and this voltage is meant to represent the concentration. So we've got voltage against time. You're going to have to figure out what it is that this voltage represents in terms of concentration. Um, and also you can see the recirculation effect here. So you, you get this sudden input. Of, this is as fast as I could input the water, cold water. Then it decays away as it moves past the thermistor and around the circuit. And then sometimes la sometime later it comes around again and we get this drop one more time and then uh, it trails off. And that will continue to happen, but it's such a small effect later on that you wouldn't even notice.